So if you're like me, you probably quickly get tired of how your home screen looks and you want to switch things up every now and then, especially if you're on Android. I'm sorry if you're on iOS, this is not the video for you. Now in this video, I'll be showing you guys a very quick and simple way I get stuff looking clean and awesome and rejuvenated every now and then on my phone without spending a ton of time tinkering around or installing many apps and so on. This will be simple. So let's get started. So as an example in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I got my home screen looking this awesome. I'm sure it's awesome, you know, not like what the stock home screens on many Android flavors look like, but something a bit more interesting, something a bit more visually appealing. And this is actually without spending too much time, you know, we all got a day job that we got to do, we have bills to pay, we have stuff to do, we don't have too much time to go into the nitty gritties and that's really why a lot of guys' home screens are just cluttered with apps everywhere, there's Instagram over here, TikTok over there, and everything just looks jumbled up in a huge mess and it kinda gets me triggered, so today let's sort that once and for all. Now I believe one of the ways you can achieve beauty on your home screen is actually to go minimalist. It all starts with the wallpaper and that's why over here I've gone with what is quite a simple wallpaper. I would advise you guys to go with something that's kind of like a single color, not a lot of patterns or pictures and so okay I know a lot of guys like having their pictures but for the purpose of this video let's just choose a nice plain wallpaper so you can go with whatever you want. But because over here I was going with a kind of black and white minimalist grayish vibe. And for your wallpaper, there's a lot of sources out there, even the ones that came with your phone might just fit the bill. But for the sake of simplicity, I advise that you install one of these apps so that you know you can have a variety from which you can choose. I know I told you guys will not be installing a lot of apps, but just bear with me, just two or three apps and you are done. And cause this video is actually not about getting you guys to get exactly the same home screen that I have over here. I'm going to show you exactly how you can get your own flavor, whichever suits you that will actually look good. And the app that will enable you get one of these beautiful setups is this one called Palette and it's by Sam Beckman, a favorite setup YouTuber if there's something like that. So yeah, over here we're on Palette, we don't even need to log in, you can see that it says welcome back guest user and already we can see several setups that you can easily copy. So there's a lot of fancy setups as you can see and you can easily configure your phone to be like any of them. What happens is you just click on any of the setups and the app gives you details about how to get such a setup. So as an example for this particular one, the launcher that has been used is called Nova Launcher, a common popular launcher that a lot of guys use. And that's actually the launcher that I have installed over here. Then the icons that have been used for this one is called Lux Gold Icon Pack. Now for some of these setups, the icon packs might be paid, but you can actually get a free icon pack that would still work. Then on the bottom left, we have this button written backup file and once you click it, it downloads a file called a backup file. And the beauty of this app is this backup files because to get your Nova launcher looking like what this image looks like would actually take you some time configuring the sizes of icons, the placement of widgets and so on. But once you download the backup file and you install Nova Launcher from your homepage, you can simply open the Nova Launcher settings and go to backup and restore and you click on restore backup and you can see these backup files that we downloaded so you can use any of them. And in essence, the Nova Launcher settings that have been backed up by whoever created the particular look you're going for from the palette app is quickly loaded onto your phone and all you need to do is just change one or two things here and there to get everything working nicely and you are good to go. So that's how I got this home screen. I simply used a backup file from someone. Then I did a few changes here and there in as far as the widgets and the apps are concerned. Because now the apps that whoever created the backup file uses will probably not be the same apps that you want to use. So you'll need to remove some of them that will be reported as missing and include your own apps. Now my simple layout over here is just having a clock on the top right and this clock is actually a widget that comes from another app and this is the last app I promise that you'll need to install. It's called KWGT. Now KWGT is actually an app that we can consider like a framework for creating widgets. Now what I mean here is that on KWGT you'll get a lot of widgets created by various creators and you can customize them to fit your particular situation. As an example, right here on the homepage of KWGT, you can see a lot of calendar style widgets that you can choose from. 
and customize to fit whatever kind of look you are going for. So like you could go for this one which has a Google button that you can click for and search on Google and sort of a calendar that you can click and it goes onto your calendar app and it tells you the date and the time. That's quite a nice one. Now the one I went for looks like this, I can click on it, it opens in KWGT and I can adjust the background if I need like a colored or a solid background. And many other settings like the font, if you'd like to select a different font, you can head over to global and you can see various font options over here. So yeah, most times you won't need to really change a lot of things. Maybe if you're going for like a black and white theme and the widget you selected has some color, you can head over to the color tab and you can actually change the various colors. Or if you're going for like a green theme, you can go and change the colors over here. But in my case, this is actually all I wanted. Below it you can see I have another widget and over here it says 88%, 53 hours left. I wonder whether actually this phone can go for 53 hours, but that's not the subject of this video. But anyway, this is also another widget that I got in KWGT. So you can go over to KWGT and get a widget for whatever kind of information you'd like displayed on your homepage. So next is these apps that you can see arranged over here in my home screen. So I already told you guys that over here on the palette app for whatever kind of look, whatever kind of home screen you are going to be copying, <laughs> whatever layout has been used might actually be given to you as a backup file. But you can see for this one as an example, there is no backup file because the launcher used here is Niagara Launcher. And I actually talked about this in another video, it's another nice minimalist launcher but it's easy to set up so you don't really need a backup file for that one. And you can also see that you've been given whatever icon pack has been used for this setup and whatever KWGT widgets have been used. So once you click on that, you can see that this is a paid one called Lucent that is 200 bob and so on. So yeah, if you're going to be getting that, there it is for you. And furthermore, you can see that down here we even have a link to an app that contains the wallpaper that has been used for this setup. So it's kind of simple to get whatever assets you need to get any of these setups that you might want to load on your phone. And that's simply how I got my home screen setup running. So all I needed to do for the apps is just get my most frequently used apps and they include Notion, Tasks from Google, Spike for email, Trucola, my phone app and what have you. If you'd like me to get into what I have on my Android phone you can comment down below and I'll make a video about that. And that is simply how I got this interesting vibe going on. So if you like get tired of that common look where you have like your phone icon on the bottom left, then maybe messages in the middle and something else on the right, then a bunch of apps scattered all over the place. You can simply go for one of these setups that are available on the palette app and all you need will probably be installing KWGT and maybe one other app for your wallpaper. That is it guys, thank you for watching, if you liked this, click that like down there, don't be shy and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos about apps, gadgets, fun spaces and online shopping and that is what we do over here. See you on the next one and as always, no pressure.